An Albuquerque woman with a history of attacking police officers is at it again, and police and prosecutors are frustrated. As News 13's Jeannie Nguyen reports, her mental status leaves their hands tied. She's proven to officers that she's not the most pleasant person to deal with. Back in October 2016, police say Havana de Dig hit an officer with a rock when he went to check on her in front of a Knob Hill business. Four years later, we're seeing the same type of behavior. According to a criminal complaint, an officer was called to the gas station at Central and University last Sunday. Police say they found de Dig and a man there trespassing. When the officer tried to arrest Dig, she fought, even scratched the officer's arm. She was charged with battery on a peace officer. You can't just keep arresting them. Somebody is going to have to step up and put a case on this individual so that she either leaves society or learns a lesson. Charges for the 2016 incident was dismissed because Dig is mentally ill and was ruled incompetent to stand trial. On top of that, a judge found that she was not a danger to society. The Bernalillo County DA's office says because of that, they had no choice but to drop her charges and let her go. There is this gap where, you know, we, we have these cases where officers are, are put in danger, but uh, the offense doesn't rise to the level of great bodily harm. Joey Montano with the Bernalillo County DA's office admits cases like the digs are frustrating. He hopes to see the state legislature do something about changing the state statute to allow them to go after people like her more aggressively. If it's not rising to the level of great bodily harm in our statutes, it'd be nice if there was some other avenue uh, for uh, those people to be receiving treatment. Jeannie Nguyen, KRQE News 13. Once again, Dadig has been released for this most recent case. She's expected in court next month.